Hey guys, Steve Welch here at Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. I'm uh, actually standing over here where a lot of our used cars are. And I've always had people ask me the question, what's the first thing or what's the most important thing to look for when you're finding or, or looking for a used car? And the answer, oddly enough, isn't out here. It is not with any of these cars. It is not with anything that you see within the car. The most important thing to look for when you are buying a used car, it's right behind me, service department. Really? That, that might not sound like it's so important, but um, I wanted to tell you guys why it is, because think about this. If you buy a car online from some vending machine, from uh, uh, any particular company that uh, um, may or may not, you know, service their cars, the likelihood that you have a car serviced is pretty much zero at a spot that doesn't have a service department. Why? Because they're not going to pay the money to do it. They're not going to outsource that. All right. So, um, and I'm walking through our, this is our reception area, by the way, um, just here at Beeman. So you can kind of get an idea of what some of the service departments will look like here at, uh, at, you know, at dealerships. They all, they all look very similar, right? Got our service advi or our, uh, advisors over there. Um, but the other thing that you're going to notice when you get out and look is you're going to see something else. You're going to see, we got two shops, all right? We got an express shop. What's the express shop? Well, that's going to be your uh, lube, oil filter, your tires, uh, things along those lines, right? And then we have an upper shop that's actually up the hill. Um, and it's up a little bit uh, past uh, the parts department here. So what's the importance? So here's the thing. You're buying a used car. There are some companies that basically have one, one thing that they'll do. They'll change the oil and they'll throw it onto the onto their lot or they will maybe uh or, or maybe they'll only detail it i mean i've seen some people and and some stuff on youtube and i'm sure you have too where people buy a new car they pull the dipstick and they notice the oil is dirty why they didn't have a service department guys they get all these used cars in and there is absolutely no way to service the car so most of these places will at least have a detail department where they shine up the car but they still they don't have any mechanics to service the car it's i mean it, it's pretty cut and dry so um i'm just kind of walking down this is just these are recent trades right so if you have these recent trade-ins and you start to uh to look you'll notice that there's you know they, they can look pretty good right um, I mean, most of these haven't actually been through service yet, but, uh, you know, they're, you know, some have, some haven't, some are uh, getting ready to, but here's my point. And if you talk to the mechanics that work on the cars that are trade-ins, right? And I've asked them, the, you know, the top techs, quick question, how many cars that we take in on trade-in come in and need absolutely nothing? They don't need one thing done to them. And everyone I've talked to says the answer is zero. They, they all at least need an oil change, right? So, I mean, okay. So, you, you kind of, you turn around and you caveat that a little bit. Okay, okay, so other than, you know, just the basic stuff. Changing oil and a couple of air filters, all right? How many of them need more stuff? And the usual response is the vast majority of them need something else. Um, they might have a tire out of balance. They might have, you know, tires that need to be replaced. They might have um, an oil leak in them. Maybe the oil pan's leaking. That You just really can't see that kind of stuff um, just from looking on the outside of the car. So, you know, this, you know, do you know, looking at this car, do you know if it needs anything? There's a fresh trade-in, right? Does it need anything? What about this Camry? What do you think? Looks pretty good, right? Probably throw that on the lot and sell it today, right? Detail it, shine it up, vacuum it out, you know, whatever it needs for um, making it look good and then put it on the lot and sell it, right? How do you know what it needs until you've had a technician that actually knows what he's looking at look at the car, you know? I've, I've seen them take cars 
and, and I'm gonna tell you this, so a certified car, let's put it this way, a certified car that's getting Toyota certified. Like this one could be Toyota certified, right? Behind me, so will it be? Who knows, it just depends on uh, a few other factors, but let's say that this one could be Toyota certified. Once they certify a car, they're gonna put about $3,000 in maintenance in that car. It, it could have 15,000 miles on it with $3,000 in maintenance. That might sound a little bit crazy, but it, I mean, it's not that hard when you throw, you know, new tires on there because the tires are past 50% and you throw, you know, all your new filters, your windshield wipers are on there. I mean, yeah, windshield wipers are five bucks. All this stuff adds up guys, but you're buying it from a, you know, a, a company that's online that doesn't care about the maintenance on the car. All they care about is putting it in your driveway. They don't care about that. So you saved a thousand dollars and you bought a car online, let's say, right? And then within six months, you've had to put $3,000 in maintenance to it. Did you save any money? We both know the answer is you didn't. So realistically speaking, if you buy a car from a place without a service department, realize that they have no way to check that car. Absolutely no way to check that car to tell you, you know, at least for in their own mind to say, yes, we've looked at this car. I know this car is a good car. You know, and we've had cars that looked really good, you know, that we took in trade in, looked really good, you know, earlier model cars. Um, I know one particular car that we took in, it was a Kia Sorento. It had 60,000 miles on it. Beautiful looking car, right? And the reason the person traded it in, they said that they had, um, it kept having battery issues. So it wouldn't start, you know, they'd crank it and it stopped starting or something like that. They were trying to kind of, the way that they were explaining it wasn't, uh, wasn't all coherent because they didn't really understand what was going on. By the time our techs got into it, they found out the motor was blown. 60,000 miles and the motor was blown. The car looked great. <laughs> it looked fine, right? So, and that was just that one car. Not saying that all Sorrentos are bad. Just saying that that one car, for whatever reason, maybe they ran it without oil, whatever the heck the reason was, but that car had a blown motor and now all of a sudden, what does that do to your value? It sinks it. But if you buy it from, from you know an online place that drops it off, well, I hope you figured it out within the seven days they gave you to figure it out. Because if you didn't figure it out, well, that's on you, right? So point is guys, don't buy a car from some place that doesn't have a service, service department. And, and I hope you see why. And if you do, just realize, put some money in the bank, you're probably gonna have to do some repairs to it. You're probably gonna have to do them pretty quick. I mean, brakes, they're not checking your brakes. How long do your brakes last? About 60,000 on the front and about 100,000 on the back, give or take. So let's say you're at 45,000 miles. Chances are we probably changed the brakes because they were close enough that we changed them. Chances are that that other company didn't even look. They didn't even rotate the tires. I mean, you might they might put some air in the tires if you have a tire light on. They might clear a check engine light. They're probably not gonna fix it, but they might clear a check engine light. I mean, keep in mind, this is all my opinion, of course, but I've just seen it too many times to where I'm not shocked when somebody goes, I bought this from a buy here, pay here, and I got screwed. Why? Because this car was not a good car, whatever that car was. Or I bought this from some guy off of Craigslist and it was in his front yard and I probably should have had it checked out. So at the very least, guys, if you're gonna buy a car from one of these places that does not have a service department, pay a mechanic to check it out. If you're not a mechanic yourself, that I mean, most maintenance shops will charge you about an hour's worth of labor, somewhere between probably 100 and 200 bucks. They're gonna go over the car and they're gonna check it out. I'd much rather pay 100 or $200 on a car I didn't buy than to not have paid it and cost me thousands, all right? Um, now I'm a mechanic by trade, so I know maintenance on cars. I know a lot about cars that a lot of people don't, but if you don't have that ability to open the hood and know what you're looking at, God, pay somebody to do it. Or better yet, buy a car from a place with that service department like I was talking about. That service department is going to be very important for you. And then here's the other thing too. Let's say something goes wrong down the, down the, the way. Who's better to fix it for you? The place that has a service department or the place that has to pay somebody to work on the car? so much easier to get something done at a place that has that service done in house. So definitely my opinion, take it how you want to, but uh, 
The whole reason for this video is I've had so many people lately that have talked about how much they regret their purchase. Always check BBB on, on any of the um, companies that you're dealing with, of course. Check out your Google reviews and stuff. Everybody's going to have some bad ones. Don't get me wrong. But if you see an overwhelming majority of bad reviews or really low rankings from the BBB, you might want to take that into consideration as well. And maybe paying an extra grand for a car might actually make it make it make more sense for you but definitely let me know if you guys have an opinion on that i'm always uh, open to your opinions but in my opinion the most important thing you can do when you're searching for a used car do not start at the car start at the dealership and make sure that they have a service department um, and if they don't just realize that you're taking a risk with that so um definitely uh uh like, subscribe, appreciate one of you guys, and let me know if there's anything that you guys want to hear about, but uh, I've just heard in, in the past three days, I've just had a lot of people talking to me about it and about bad experiences that they've had in cars they're trading out of and they're they're losing on them because they're, they, they were bad to start with. You know, salvage titles, by the way, um, those are really bad, and, and people are figuring out later that, man, bad Carfax, salvage title, all these other things that a lot of these places are do, they don't care, guys. They don't have to. So ho hopefully this helps you out. If it saves one of you, it's worth making the video. Um, but uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. Steve Walsh, Bima Toyota, downtown Nashville. I hope you guys have a great day. And uh, hopefully this helps you. And uh, definitely like if it did. And uh, if it didn't, like then too. Um, appreciate you guys. Steve Walsh, Bima Toyota. Like, subscribe. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later.